Hey guys, I'm back in the shop again today working on my snow plow. So I've got this Snow Sport HD utility plow and I've got it mounted on my uh, Kubota B2601. I've done some videos in the past. Um, this thing works really good for clearing my driveway. I've got other snow plow options actually, but um, this light aluminum one just works really good on this little tractor. And I don't know what this thing is. I think it's like seven, seven feet wide, maybe something like that. So works really good for pushing snow. The only issue that I've got, um, if you're interested in seeing me pushing, pushing some other uh, snow with this thing, I'll leave a link or two in the video or in the description down below if you want to see that. But um, this thing, as you can see, it's set up with these uh, basically like sideboards on it. And grab a tape measure here real quick. So these things, they don't stick out a long way. So that's six inches that they'll stick out from the front of the rubber blade. Um, and so this thing on wider areas, it works really good as, um, as a pusher plow. But my driveway, I've got a real long driveway and it doesn't work as well when I, so in the pusher plow, a plow configuration when it's straightforward like this, you know, for clearing the, the wider areas, obviously it works good. But when I'm doing the um, when I'm doing the longer section of my driveway, I pull the pin and I pivot it one side to the other, and it doesn't work as well in that configuration because obviously these sideboards uh, catch the snow, so the snow doesn't just roll off the side. Uh, so if there's for my situation here in my yard, if there's not a ton of snow, this works great. If we get heavier, especially wet snow. Um, where I really want to be able to, you know, rotate the blade and kick it off to the side. It just doesn't, it doesn't work that well, obviously. Those boards are in the way. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pull these, these side boards off. And I actually already did this once. I took them off thinking that I was just going to pull this whole assembly off. But as you'll see here in a second, when you pull the side plate off, the, the, this blade is hollow. And I didn't want to get everything all plugged up full of snow and you know, gravel mud and everything. So um, I got some shorter bolts. This rubber sideboard is an inch. And I think these bolts that are in there are like an inch or like a two and a half inches. So I got some shorter bolts and I'm just going to take this metal plate that holds the rubber sideboard on and I'm just gonna reattach the metal plate. That'll still stick out a couple inches, um, but it'll be far less than what those, uh, what those rubber things are. And then we've got some snow coming tonight. I suppose they're supposed to get uh, five or six inches of kind of wet heavy stuff. So it'll be a good test for this thing to see how it works with these uh, sideboards removed. So as you can see, obviously this is all hollow in here and this is where I didn't want to get everything all, especially I didn't want to get the bolt uh, threads all jammed full of gravel mud. So I'm just going to take this plate. This plate has one bolt um, that doesn't go through the, uh, that doesn't go into the plow itself. It just holds the plate to the rubber sideboard. So I'll take that off and then I'll put the plate back on. All right, so these are inch and a half. And truthfully, I probably could have gone a lot shorter than that, but which way does this thing go? This way. 
yeah, those are, I could have gotten a lot shorter bolts, but that's all right, this will work. There, that's how it goes. Being a little careful here because I don't want to strip out the the aluminum threads. So now instead of sticking out six inches, I've got two and a half at the very widest part. And down here at the bottom, it's only like three quarters of an inch. And obviously down here where the blade is, there's there's nothing. So I think that's gonna work a lot better. So I'll go ahead and replace the one on the other side and then I will uh, take the camera back out tomorrow when it snows and we'll actually give this thing a test. Well, we got some snow. We didn't get near as much as what they were forecasting. It actually, it rained for probably, I don't know, I'd say a good three hours or so before it transitioned to snow yesterday. So we only ended up getting about three inches, which I guess is good for, you know, not having to remove as much snow, but it doesn't give that snow plow near as good a test but what i will say is when it's you know obviously it was raining and the ground was all uh completely saturated and thawed and with my steel blade in these conditions it just it tears the driveway all the pieces even with the shoes on it, it just cuts the crown and makes a real mess of the gravel and the rubber blade on this plow does a lot better when you've got this soft gravel underneath your snow so anyway we'll go ahead and hook it up and the other thing too is this stuff is you know this is like the ultimate you know, snowball snow, really, really wet, sticky stuff. And that tends to, when I've got those sideboards on there, that wet snow tends to really collect big time. So, um, so I think removing those will work a lot better with this wet stuff too. So let's give it a try. That worked out well. Really glad I took those boards off. This stuff is so, this is like pushing slush. And going up the hill, going up the driveway, as you can see, I go clear up and the guy that plows our development doesn't know where our road is. So I gotta actually open our road up, clear up there too. So I'm probably pushing 300 feet. But coming up the driveway was all I could do to keep traction. I was spinning all four tires actually. So super wet. If I had those sideboards on, I would have been fighting that thing like crazy. And the, uh, down here, kind of in the low spot of the driveway, it's just all, it's mud down here. You know, it snows on top of that wet stuff and the snow just insulates it and it doesn't freeze. But boy, my steel blade, as you can see, I mean, obviously there's some gravel in here that I'm pushing, but with my steel blade, I would have just absolutely destroyed this gravel. So. I think that was a success. I would say based on that, I'm gonna leave those sideboards off. You know, the wide part in front of the garage up here, it, it was it was no issue. I didn't miss them one bit. It worked good. If you've got one of these snow sport plows and you know if you ever considered taking the sideboards off, I'd recommend it. I think it's an upgrade, so. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video.